everybody welcome back to another weekly vlog so i've got a busy day we've been shopping just getting like the most random bits and bobs from like a doormat to maternity bras um a car seat mirror just the most random bunch of things it's been a really busy one so i haven't really picked up the camera and marley is just absolutely exhausted he's very grumpy so i've needed like both hands on ready so yeah i haven't vlogged it but jordan's just running to a local like independent car seat retailer place because basically so we have the egg to push chair and we need the tandem adapters so that we can have little girl in the bassinet and then marley in the seat unit and everywhere online is like sold out and it's pre-order only including this place but i just thought if we could go somewhere we actually know they'll be able to tell us when we're pre-ordering them because if we're pre-ordering for like 2025 probably not even gonna need them by then so yeah i am a bit stressed though that he's gonna come back and say like they just don't sell them anymore because we really need them and then we are getting some paint um for like so i i don't even know where i'm going with this conversation i'm just chatting here there and everywhere um we're turning our bedroom half of it into like little girls nursery because we spent so much money and so much time doing up marley's nursery and he's never even used it so it just seems silly to up a whole room and it'd mean taking the playroom away and i think a playroom would be more beneficial than a nursery at this point in our lives we're probably going to turn it into her nursery in a couple of years but for now we've got plenty of space in our bedroom to kind of just make a little nice little corner of her stuff so yeah that's the plan so we're going to get painting very soon and i'm going to do a whole video on the bedroom transformation oh jordan's coming back and i think he's got a receipt have you ordered him yeah when far mid-september yes so we're just out of stock they're not like pre-order they're out of stock, yeah, but they're out of stock like everywhere. They're out of stock everywhere. Yeah, literally well, 50 know. quid. Oh, that's fair enough. That's what it was online. It was 55 if you wanted postage, but. Oh, so are we collecting them, yeah? Yeah. Will they send us like an email when they're ready? They're going to give me a ring when they're ready. Per. We're ordering it on Monday. Oh, Come on. <laughs> what we got? <gasps> it's all your little hammers from, you know, your musical instruments. That's what they are. So guys, you're just going to have to bear with me. I'm going to have to entertain and film because Mr. Marley Moo has got so many teeth coming through and he's just having a really hard time. But I've just got a delivery, very exciting, of some baby bros. And I thought I'd open them up on camera because we can all appreciate a bow, right? Now, I aren't like living in a world of nonsense. I'm fully aware she's probably never gonna let me get a bow on her head, but I might get them on for photos. And when she's a newborn, I'm sure it'll be allowed. Yeah, these are from Honey Baby. I'll try to leave a link to their Instagram down below for you guys, because they literally have the most beautiful bows ever. And that's their little logo. So I'll leave a link to their Instagram. If you guys would like to get these, by the way, this isn't sponsored or anything. So, little thank you card. Oh, there's a little handwritten note that is so cute. Your order made our day. We hope this package makes yours. Let me see if I can pop these out. Oh my God. Why am I actually about to cry over bars? <laughs> oh my God, the pregnancy hormones. I'm about to cry over bars. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Molly, look! <gasps> Bows for baby sister! Look at this baby for your sister! Oh, they are so stretchy. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, they're gonna fit you because they are the stretchiest things ever. Are you ready? <gasps> Little baby Marlene! Can I see? Let me see. Oh! You look really pretty. Are you growling? <laughs> They are like the most lovely fabric ever, guys. Like seriously, they are insane. Oh my God. I got the four pack of bows <laughs> called Honey. 
Oh darling baby, what is it, huh? Talk to mama. As I said, we have a very, very, very sad teething little baby, don't we? You're putting your fingers in your mouth, you're getting those teeth. Should we pop them in your drawers for Marley? Would you like some bars? We can get you some bars if you want some bars. Do you want to show them what else we bought for baby sister? Marley? Oh, what's in here? Wow, you show everybody on the camera. So I bought her a lot of bibs dummies. Now Marley had has had these, still has these. But obviously he has the plain ones, um, not the like flowery ones. It's okay to be grumpy. You just go inside your teeth hurt. Your teeth hurt you, baby. Oh sweet boy. Mummy loves you. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Can we show everybody? Go, oh, we got this colour. You get it? Oh, we got this colour. Oh, you're showing them what you do with them, clever boy. We got this colour. Another pink. And we got this colour. As you can see, Marley thinks that. <laughs> But it's so cute. Um, I've actually got some cases coming from today. I only bought them yesterday. Um, and I thought we had loads of dummy cases from when he was a baby. But they've all vanished. So I've got a load coming. Put them away for when she's here. So Marley Moo didn't chew them to death for baby sister. I've just realised how unbelievably crap that last video was. Um, so I thought I'd give you a proper look. So I've got like a white one some beige ones and like a brownie-ish one um yeah so this was the set that was called honey from honey baby stores i want to say let me show you this is their art so yeah absolutely gorgeous and like i said they are actually fab quality so stretchy um absolutely beautiful so highly recommend oh good job here we got blue and we got red so you might be wondering where we're sat because this is very new. So yesterday I saw somebody was advert well, literally giving away this little mini sofa, big chair for free on Facebook. I think they were moving. And I thought, perfect, let me grab it. It could not fit any better in this room. I haven't even said we're in the playroom. Like it literally couldn't be any more perfect fit wise. I mean, it's not like the nicest sofa in the world, but it was literally free. And then we've already got so much to buy for this baby. We don't need to go buy a sofa. And yeah, so I'm just thinking how perfect is this? Like after I've just had it and like those first few weeks, months, this is probably gonna be kind of like where we spend all our time because it's got, like I can put all Marley's toys in here, he's gonna be so entertained. Um, and I am gonna make a corner for her too, with like the teepee tent, her play mat, some fairy lights, loads of sensory stuff. And yeah, I think I'm probably just gonna live in this room, basically those first few weeks. Um, and I've got this side here, which actually has a sink as well. I can pop all her bits, like dummies, burp cloths, nappies, wipes, all that stuff baby girl needs and Marley can just be off playing while I'm breastfeeding or just recovering like after I had Marley I really really struggled with the recovery like I was in so much pain like down below like I could not walk for about five to six weeks and being stood up for any more than like two minutes was really really painful for me so it's just nice to have somewhere comfy I can sit and like there's nothing in here Marley can hurt himself on so I can just sit here and know that, you know, he can occupy himself, he's... I don't need to run off, there's no like, bare plug sockets or furniture he can pull on himself. Um, oh, watch out dude. Like it's just a safe place really. Currently looking at the cot and furniture we're gonna get. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go with the Maya, 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 oh baby, I don't even know, um, collection. And I do plan on doing a whole kind of room transformation on here about that. So in theory, this would be her bedroom. Um, and that's probably what we'll do in a few years time. But while she's still little and 
doesn't need that room this room is going to be way more useful as a playroom for them both so we're going to turn half of our room basically into her nursery we definitely have the room to do that and um, but it does kind of limit things so i think we're going to have to get like a smaller hot bed anyway that's going to be a whole video that i do plan on doing and um, we've got the paint and everything to paint the room tomorrow tomorrow yesterday oh my god we got the paint yesterday to paint the room i don't know when i'm going to get around to painting it because obviously i can't just go paint while he's on the loose so the next few days weeks i am planning on introducing molly's nap times into his cot um i'm not sure how that's gonna go i don't think it's gonna be a success but i'm gonna at least try it so that you know mm. we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes because if he could be asleep in his cot i can get that room done so like quickly okay so it's a lovely miserable rainy cloudy gross day um so what better to do than to make stew so i'm just about to chop up all the veggies so that we can get that cooking and um, i think we'll probably get a little bit of cleaning done this afternoon and then watch a movie can i watch a movie while it cooks because obviously it's not as a female that's ready in five minutes <gasps> you've done a poo poo <sighs> never mind it looks like i'm gonna go change my moose bottom before i do anything else come on then mommy's just making dinner baby boy yeah yeah what have you found? Daddy be home soon, should we go with? Should we go with the daddy? Yeah. We need to hoover, you've got crumbs everywhere. Yeah. bedroom i just wanted to quickly i've lost one i just wanted to quickly show you all these little genius little dummy holder things i got so these are literally like six pound for six off of um amazon so absolutely dirt cheap and they're just perfect for like storing all the little dummies in because obviously when they're like newborns they the dummies need to be literally crisp clean can I even put them like down and um, so it's just perfect for keeping them clean and then we also have I think it's like the Milton dummy steriliser for on the go which again is just fab if anybody has any recommendations for like a steriliser please let me know we use the Milton cold water steriliser with Marley and to be honest I just didn't like it I didn't ever feel like the things were clean enough they just didn't come out clean I don't think it kind of left like this weird residue on them too we don't obviously need a steriliser in, really because I don't plan on bottle feeding so it would literally just be for odd bits like dummies, these little cases, um, what else would we need a steriliser for like you know like the bogey suckers those kind of things so we literally just need like a really small cheap quick and easy steriliser and um, I don't want to go spend like £100 on a big fancy one when it's barely going to be used so if anyone has any recommendations please do let me know I am just about to do a little bit of measuring up for baby girl's furniture, make sure it's definitely going to fit and kind of figure out where stuff would go. This is the paint we I'm obsessed with. It's um, White Mist by Dulux and it just, it's like a really nice off-white. When you first put it on, 
it looks like really dark and grey and it's not nice. Um, but once it's on it's and like dried, it's gorgeous. So I just kind of wanted to jump on, give you guys a quick pregnancy update before I end this vlog. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm in a really good place with being pregnant at the moment. Definitely better than I was a few weeks ago. Physically, I'm still struggling, but it's not getting worse. It's kind of staying the same. So I'm kind of just adapting and getting used to that. So yeah, I would say that I'm just finding it easier in that way. I finally got some clothes that actually like fit me. So I'm feeling more comfortable during the day. I got some bras where my boobs aren't exploding out of. And it's just like little things like that, that makes such a difference. And I'm making sure that when I get up on a morning, I am getting dressed. I am putting my skin and me moisturizer on. I am trying to do a bit of makeup here and there and it's actually made such a difference. I know a few weeks ago, I was literally on her saying how upset I was because I was just feeling crap in myself. So yeah, definitely been making more of an effort to look after me and as well, just making sure the house is clean and tidy has been a huge thing for me. The house got to a point where it was just such a mess and like, it was demotivating me and I just didn't even want to deal with it. And then it was just getting worse. Um, but we have managed to absolutely tackle this house, make it spotless. And I am like taking so much pride in keeping it that way. Making sure I'm picking up Miley's toys all different points throughout the day. Making sure I'm not just leaving clothes on the floor or nappies on the side. Making sure that I'm just picking everything up as I go. And yeah, it's just made such a difference. And I've actually been enjoying it, which is like, what? Me enjoying cleaning? That is so weird. And yeah, along with like, I don't know. I think I mentioned it in a previous vlog. I am just craving clean. Like I just have, I'm like air freshening it, the house up every day. I've got candles going. I'm like shake and vacuum every five minutes, it feels like. Are you okay? You can get up. You're not stuck, you donut. Yeah, just making sure everything smells nice. I'm making sure I'm having regular baths as often as humanly possible with a one-year-old. Um, and just like proper bubble, soapy, smelly baths are just... Oh. I also just feel like the last kind of couple of weeks, we've started buying more bits for the baby. I've been getting clothes organised and we have been looking at... Like we've decided what furniture we're going to get. We've bought some paint to do up her little corner of our bedroom, um, which I've mentioned. Yeah, like we've bought the prom adapters and I'm just getting excited. We've got like the swing out, the mamaroo swing and Marley's been like putting his teddies in and it's just getting like so real and so exciting. And I'm just getting really excited, really, really excited to meet this baby girl. Obviously movements are like in full swing. I just feel like I'm at that peak pregnancy point. Like I have a really cute little nice bump, but it's not like so big that I just can't move or breathe. So yeah, it's just in that perfect little pregnancy bubble at the minute and I've been really enjoying it. I am about to go do something absolutely crazy and that is attempt Marley's first nap in his own cot. I am not expecting it to be successful, but I'm just gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna introduce it See if it's even a possibility and maybe just keep trying every day. But yeah, if you are interested in seeing how that goes, I certainly am. And that video will be out next week because that's going to be in the 26 week vlog. Because as I said, I'm actually 26 weeks today. I'm going to go and crack on with that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm.